do this thing. Okay, so. Hello. I like Stranger Things. Also, have you ever wanted to play the dolphin emulator of today? Yes, of course you do. It's not a virus. And, yeah, it, it's. I play on it quite a bit. Like, Kirby. <laughs> Whatever. Um. So, uh, I'm gonna show you how to, you know, do make dolphin play Wii games for free, and yes, I condone, um, pirating because it's it's software from 2009. No one really cares. Um. All right, let's go. So first of all, you wanna go to your browser which I, I use Chrome because obviously it's better than Brave. Um, so you go onto here, you type up Dolphin, okay, emulator, because, yeah. And then you can just, it'll take you to this page because it'll be the first one, dolphin-mu.org. And you click this button. And once you click it, it'll come up in your downloads, yeah. Whatever the yeah dolphin yeah, okay. Once you get this, you wanna create. I've already done this. Create a folder because it's better to keep everything in one place. I called it emulation. You can do something else. I'm just gonna create another folder inside of emulation, and I'm just gonna call it test because I won't need this later. And then once you've done this, you put a dolphin into here. Okay. And you want to, oh yeah, also when it brings you to this, you download the latest one on, if you're either on Windows, Mac, and somehow it's on Android, so that's cool. Alright. Let's just die. Uh, Let's just die. Uh, we'll settle. Alright, there we go. You want to just, uh, just put it in. Um, here, boom. Also... Before you want to do anything, you want to get Win WinRAR, okay? I'll put the link in below. Alright. And then once you, like, do this, you want to click Extract Files, just to be safe, okay? And WinRAR is sl slow, just because. <laughs> Alright, so, once you go on here. You wanna, you got all of this, okay? Dolphin.exe, that is what you want, okay? So you click dolphin.exe, and it should just give you a blank one, but turns out it just gives me everything that I already own, that's just grand. And then once you uh, get in, it should be just blank, okay? So once you get here, it will be a blank thing, okay? So you want to click options at the top, and you just want to click configuration. Once you get to here, leave the general interface and audio, and then you go into paths. Paths is the most important. So you have game folders, okay? The game folders is where you want to just put in stuff, okay? So in this case, you want to make another folder, Okay, and you want to name it Games, okay? Once you named it Games, this is the second part. This, okay, or whatever, this is where you get your stuff. Don't worry, it's not a virus. Here is where it's got every single Wii game, like, imaginable, okay? On ISO and WBFS, but that's just another thing. You want to click Mario Kart, which should be like near the top because it's probably the best game. You want to hit download, okay? Once you download it, because it'll take a while, because, you know, it's from a server out in America somewhere, doing its stuff, whatever. I'm not going to download it, but once it would download, it'll come up in your downloads again. You can easily like access your file explorer by doing Windows E. And once you get it, I'm just going to quickly get it from our thingy. I got a lot of games because I like them. 
Um, where is it? Marry Carl B. There we go. I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going back into my test. And you want to put that. It should come up. Yeah, also, when you get it, you m it will, like, tell you to put it, I don't know. It will tell you to extract it so you can actually access the WBFS file. And I'm not going to do this. And once you put it in here, your new file folder, you want to go into here, press add, and you want to that, find that location. So in my case, it will be desktop in emulation, in tests, and games. And you just select the folder. Boom. And then all, all of that, all the games that you've just downloaded, or Mario Kart in particular, will be here. And then it should come up somewhere here. In, but it's, I already have it, so that, it sh it's just there. And then, to set up your controller. This is the part that it's just your preference. It's easier to set up a GameCube controller compared to a Wii Remote. So, I'm going to set up a new one. Alright, first of all, get your controller and just hold the on button. Or just plug it in. I have mine wired. I've got Bluetooth in my computer, so I can just do it wirelessly. Alright, once you've done this, you want to select a device, which would be X input dash zero dash gamepad. It will always be that. And for this, you want to just do the A button. You want to set this up. So you have to click. Alright, for the buttons, you'll be A would be A, of course. B would be B. X would be X. And Y would be Y. Z. Oh, my voice. <laughs> Z is another button, okay, on the GameCube controller. So, that would be like the shoulder button, okay. So, can't actually find a good photo. Okay, here, you don't see the button. The Z button is that blue thing, okay. So, the Z button would be your right bumper. Then your D-pad would be up, down, left, and right. And then the control stick would be your left stick, okay? So you want to do up, down, left, right. The modifier you can leave. And then the C stick would be your right stick. So you want to do up, down, left, right. LR and IR, I mean R, R would be your triggers. So LR would be left trigger and R would be your right trigger. And then the L analog and right analog, I don't really get. So I'm just going to say, that in this case, it will be you're pressing down the joystick. So the L analog would be your left joystick pressed down. And then your right analog would be your right joystick pressed down. Boom. And then that, you can keep. In this, but I'm going to save it as a thing. What you type in your profile and press save, but I'm not going to do that because it'll cock it all up for me. Boom! Once you've done that, you can just click the game and it'll load. Boom! And then you press A, it should just load normally. Boom! And that I've already got my Mies in, but that will be later in late in another video. Maybe. I don't know, mate. <laughs> and you press the first player and you can do whatever. To make this big, you press full screen. Boom. Also, look, the quality is not that good, is it? So you can go into graphic on your dolphin thingy. Oh shoot. Dolphin's a bit buggy, so you'll just have to wait a little, because it'll just be non-responding because of all that data. Alright, once you're into your thing again, you can press graphics and enhancements. And then, it should be from your internal resolution, which should already be on auto, 640 by 528 And you want to change that into your monitor spec. So, basically, in all cases, it'll be 1080p. So it'll be three times native. Alright. 
and then that should fix it and then Mario Kart should be more or just better. Alright, and that's the end of the video I guess. Whoop. <laughs>